the term digital public infrastructure is quite a new one um and uh people are still kind of debating what it means um but i think we're at a really exciting moment where um societies in general are recognizing that there are kind of there are there are key parts of how we work which are clearly digital and have that kind of that that status as infrastructure and being that they're just a fundamental part of how everything happens and works so you might think about like how does money move through our economies um, or something simple as how do we get notifications and messages coming to us um, but by kind of surfacing that and giving it a name we can talk more about what how do we want that to work how do we want to make sure that it's accessible and resilient and, and all sorts of other good things um, so I hope that talking to, to Viraj, who's um, got a really fascinating perspective on that, um, both from his private sector career, but more recently from his work with the eGov Foundation, which is providing kind of software platforms and increasingly uh, a whole lot more to particularly local governments around India, that people will get you know, a bit inspired um, to, to get involved in shaping what's this future infrastructure we need. Um, see some opportunities um, because if we if we get some of the fundamental digital infrastructure of our societies right there are new things that we can do you don't have to reinvent the wheel when you're coming up with whether it's a business idea whether it's a government service whether it's a charitable thing you want to do you can you can build on that um, and I also think it's really important to just have a broad conversation about those things because if they're going to be fundamental to how our societies work in the future um, everybody should get a chance to help shape them. Um, so I, I guess from the conversation, some inspiration, some entry points for people to get more involved um, and, and hopefully just uh, just an interesting, interesting time and some stories from around the world, because this is genuinely a kind of global conversation and movement. <laughs>